Are you, are you all right? This is what I've got today. It's a three kilogram piece of gammon. Is it gammon or ham? Here's the thing with that. So a piece of gammon is raw and it becomes ham when it's cooked. I didn't know that until yesterday, but there you are. Bit of trivia for you. And I'm going to boil this. You can cook it and I should tell you what we're making. I'm gonna do the best glazed ham you've ever had. And I think I have done it before, I can't remember, but I'm, I'm doing it now anyway. So we're gonna, you, you need to cook your ham first, whether you boil it, slow cook it, roast it in the oven, doesn't matter, as long as you cook it. So I'm gonna boil this in a pan for about an hour. I like to boil it because then you can use the stock for soup. Makes the best soup. So, do that. Cover it with boiling water from the kettle. Lid on. Now I haven't soaked that ham. You don't have to soak ham anymore. I've just rinsed it. We're gonna boil that, put a lid on, bring it to the boil. I'm gonna simmer it for an hour. I should say, if you're gonna slow cook it, six hours on high. Okay, this meat's had an hour. Transfer it to a tray. Now we're just gonna let that cool a little bit because you'll burn your fingers trying to do anything with that. So you could chop some vegetables to put in that stock because that's a perfect stock for soup. So in this pan of stock, I'm just gonna fire some vegetables. I've got two onions, about six big carrots, half a head of celery that was on the turn in the fridge, a leek, um, and I'll put some cabbage in as well. It's basically what's in my vegetable drawer in the fridge. Just put, so put what you like in, use what you've got. There's my half head of cabbage. It was just going to go in the bin otherwise. Throw that in. Got a chicken stock pot. Top it up with hot water. Lid back on for about 20 minutes. When the veggies are almost done, go in with 300 grams of lentils. Now those lentils won't take very long to cook. That's why we've put them in once the veggies cooked a little bit. So keep an eye on them because they will stick to the bottom. It's a lovely orange colour off the carrots. Make it as smooth as you want it to be. Right, taste it. That's nice. I'm going to put a load of pepper in there. Doesn't need any salt. If you think it's too thick, put some more water in. I'm going to tear some of the ham up and put some of that in as well. Right, let's make the glaze. By the way, it's the next day. I've done this ham yesterday, finishing it off today. So, three tablespoons of treacle, three tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Mix it all together. Give it a good mix together to make a paste. So this is cold now. Any string that's on there, cut that off and just peel back the rind. You can't make crackling out of this, I don't think. Pull it off. And this fatty layer, you want to keep that. And you're just going to run the knife over it, just scoring it, but you're not going as deep as the meat. You're just cutting it to that fat. And you can do fancy crisscrosses if you want. Now there's your glaze. Slather it all over. Put about half of it on, get it well covered. Use your fingers or use a spoon. So I've used all of that glaze and I've covered the entire piece of meat. Put a dribble of water in the bottom, just because it's sugar, it'll burn to the bottom of your dish and you don't want that. So if you put a bit of water in the bottom, it stops that from happening. So I'll put this in a 200 oven and you'll know when it's ready because it, your meat will all be hot, it'll be gnarly. We're gonna baste it as we go. So into the oven. I'm just gonna do some red cabbage and cranberry. So I've just shredded up one whole red cabbage put it in a frying pan, put the heat on, some water in. And we're just gonna cook it this way. There's no oil in there, just a little bit of water. If it dries out, put a bit more in. 
I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of salt to help that cook down. It's only had 10 minutes. Look how golden it's got. Baste it with the meat juices and that glaze. And then back in the oven. Now taste your cabbage when you've got the texture you want, because some folk like it harder than others. You're going to put in a 200 gram jar of cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce, not jelly, because jelly is too sweet. Just stir that in. Couldn't be any simpler. Okay, so this meat's ready. How gorgeous does that look? It needs to be dark and gnarly and gorgeous. Okay, so put it on a nice serving plate. And all these sugary juices, we're going to pour them over the top. So we'll get this cut. Now I guarantee if you make this, I mean, these bits that you think are burnt are actually not. They just dissolve in your mouth. Absolutely gorgeous. People will fight over those bits. Can you see? How good does that look? So excited for my tea. So is Ian. How good is that? Gorgeous. Right, I'll get a quick taste before the door gets broken down and I get lynched. make this absolute showstopper every person you feed this to will go back for more there's a few roast taties there as well 